सानीत पर रर पर प ग पद सर रर सर गर सर सरे धर द पटे सरे गद Hear that familiar tune? Every tune that we hear in a music is made up of something called the swaras. A swara is essentially the sound of a musical note or frequency. Together, these form the basic melodic structure of music. So, how many swaras are there? Essentially, there are seven basic swaras in Indian music. These are sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, and ni. If there are only 7 swaras, how come there are 12 keys in one octave of a piano or a harmonium? Well, the answer is that each swara is not just a name. Instead, each swara has its own set of positions or pitches. Let's try to visualize this. Sa and pa have only one fixed position, so we can't move them. However, re, ga, ma, da, and ni have two different positions. If you're wondering how the same swara can have two different positions, let's try to look at an analogy using the concept of colors. You have a basic color red, but this red can have many shades. A darker red may be called maroon and a lighter red may be called pink. In the same way, you can think of these swaras to be different shades of the same color. Now, coming back to our initial diagram, sa and pa are fixed, while the other two swaras can be seen as having two different shades. Usually, a raga, which is a melodic framework of notes progression, is made up of five, six, or seven swaras. A change in position in even one of the swaras entirely changes the rag. For example, the Shankara Bharanam or Bilaval rag. Sa re ga ma. And the Kalyani on Yaman Rag. These basic concepts of the Swara system are the same in both Hindustani and Carnatic music traditions. However, the advanced Carnatic theory of swara is different from the advanced Hindustani theory of swara. The Carnatic theory states that there are 16 swara designations, but only 12 swara positions. However, this is a story for another day. Now, let's draw parallels between the Indian swara system and the Western musical notes. Both of these systems essentially have the same 12 musical notes. As shown here, the twelve swaras in Indian music correspond to these twelve intervals of Western music theory. Additionally, the set of swaras is called sargam in Indian music, while it is called solfege in Western music. The last and most important difference is that sargam is a dynamic or movable solfege. Let's try to understand this using a keyboard. The keys of a keyboard are set in a particular frequency, such as the A key is set to the frequency of 440 hertz. In Western music, the first note Do corresponds to the fixed starting note of a given scale. For example, in a G major scale, Do corresponds to G, Re corresponds to A, and so on and so forth. On the other hand, the sargam can be called a movable solfege. This is because the first note of sa does not necessarily have to start at any particular key. It could start from C, F, A, G sharp, E flat, etc. The successive notes of the rag would then be placed with reference to the position of sa. This is an example of the Shankara Bharanam in three different shrutis: C, D, and G sharp shruti. Indian classical music is all about the celebration and exploration of swaras and this is exactly what we do here at IIE. Thank you for watching.